Now, now Vamsha chart, the most important of all divisional charts, including the D1, of course. <laughs> Today, 10 things that the Navamsha tells you about your past life because we are done with this life, right? <laughs> and if you are more interested in this life, you can watch my other D9 videos and especially the series with Vishti Larsenji. It's a gold mine of Navamsha. All right, so 10 things the Navamsha tells you about your previous now this may not be like you know just the reset but it can be over a multiple uh, number of lifetimes which means it reflects the energies and not necessarily the events okay so for example let me give you a quick example before we go it can mean for example suppose your venus or your seventh lord is badly placed then it can mean that over a period of many many lifetimes you have screwed up your marriage <laughs> so so now this is this is like over a period of lifetime but what it certainly does not mean that in the just recent previous lifetime there was a divorce it does not mean that there, there could have been may not be but if your seventh lord or venus in the namamsha is badly pleased then it's it's showing bad marital karma from multiple lifetimes this is what you need to understand right God is there with you all the time and you must see him today because we are going to discuss about him also in the Navamsha and for personalized consultations, please go to my website down in the description section. Now, first thing you need to understand is that the Navamsha chart is the chart of a person when he or she is alone, when the person is not doing anything, when, when nobody is watching you, what do you do? Can you write it in the comments? <laughs> no, don't, don't. I've seen your answers. Don't worry. <laughs> you can write if you wish. Uh, I would be happy to see that. <laughs> All right. So, now, does this mean that the Navamsha tells you what you were doing in your previous lifetimes when you are when you were alone? Well, absolutely, yes. So that is why the Navamsha is the chart of your self, your spiritual life and also marriage. Why? Because there are only two persons who know you quite well. One is your spouse because they stay around 10 to 12 hours with you. And uh, the other one who is staying 24 hours even when you are sleeping. Who is that? The Paramatma inside your heart. Lord Krishna says in the Gita, Ishwara Sarva Bhutana Mridesya Arjuna Tishthati. I am situated in the region of the heart. So therefore, your spouse, husband, wife and God knows you the best. Okay. There is no debate on this. So therefore, they may sometimes know you more than you know yourself. All right. So that is why, please check your Navamsha. <laughs> Because, see, what you should do is very interesting. You can see on Avamsha and try to confirm it with your spouse. You will get the best results, okay? Now, what the planets mean and all this, that you have to uh, see the series with Vishti Larsen, you will know it very easily, all right? So, let us jump to number one. And before that, reminder for my New Delhi visit, 25th November to uh, 2nd of December. And Guwahati 10th December to uh, 10th of January next year. If you want a personalized consultation during these visits, please send an email to exoticastrology at the rate gmail.com. Right now, number one, this this is like this is all in all. It tells you your unfulfilled desires. Okay, now which planets will show your unfulfilled desires? Three planets. Your Lagna Lord, Sun and Moon. Lagna Lord of the Navamsha, not the D1. So, in your Navamsha, whichever sign is in the first house, the Lord of that house, that planet, and Sun and Moon. So, in, in your Navamsha, if you are Cancer or Leo Lagna, then you have only two planets because your Lagna Lord is either Sun or Moon, right? <coughs> so, you need to understand that these three planets will tell you 
what were you looking for in life what were you running behind okay and especially if uh, also a plat in the lagna of the ravamsha will also tell you what what's what was there in your mind all the time so now if mercury venus is in lagna or if sun moon mars uh, sun moon and lagna lord of your d9 are in mercurial signs or if mercury is in lagna then you know it's more to do with money finances and if it is in libra or uh, taurus and if venus is in lagna no of navam shaur either ways then it has something to do with women or you know sexuality and all this <laughs> so therefore please understand that these three will give you the best clues and the houses and it will tell you what you were actually desiring prominently because that is exactly what your personality is because you become that who you associate with so if you are associating with vishayi vishayi means those who are by default themselves addicted to sense pleasure so wish is the poison it's like sense pleasure vishayi is one who is consuming the poison okay so the scriptures explain it is million billion trillion times more dangerous to associate with a vishayi than to associate with a wish because when you associate with the wish what happens you get kicks and beatings and then you suffer and you will get out of it but if you associate with a vishayi a person who is addicted to sense enjoyment then that person will transfer his or her addictions to your to you so so then it becomes much more difficult to get rid of all the bad habits okay so therefore it is it is imperative that you maintain good association and stay away from people who drag you down to materialistic activities okay ultra materialistic like sinful desires okay number 2 this is gold it tells you about your merit life <laughs> Married life? Why? <laughs> Because the Atma Karaka of the Navamsha is Venus Shukra. Venus. So Venus is the most important planet. Along with Venus, you need to check the seven second lord. You need to check the planet in the second and seventh house, seventh lord and eleventh house, eleventh lord. So suppose all. all four are different your second lord seventh lord 11th lord are three other planets and you have venus okay <clears throat> so then you need to check all these four and also which planets are sitting in the second seventh level so that's how you need to go for okay so if you if you see all this then you will get an idea how have you performed as a husband or wife in multiple lifetimes okay and more the malefic planets in 2711 more the problem and if the lords of second 711 they are in dusana like one of them is there that's okay but if like you know all three are there in 6812 or two of them are there then it's problem so suppose second lord 11th lord is in the 12th or 8th or 6th dusana and also there are natural malefics in these houses then it's even more difficult okay so that's how you will know Number three, the trines will tell you Navamsha. The Navamsha trines will tell you your talents. Okay, so if Venus is in one five nine, you can have traits like painting, uh, you know, Mercury writing, you know, healing, Moon healing, for example. Surya can show, uh, or dancing and all this. But of course, these have to be confirmed in the D one. Also in the D one, if the fifth house is prominent, <clears throat> and there are there are planets in the navamsha trines then only this talent will come outside otherwise you may not even know about <coughs> but suppose you you have mars in the navamsha or trines then it can mean that you know you are interested in cooking or you know like army fire martial arts could be astrology also at times also you may try yourself if if uh, if if you try to you know uh, improve that try to dig that out from yourself you may be very successful so this is something you need to take care so if if it is there it's there very good if not you may try to furnish them okay and these traits may come out amazing okay number 4 it tells you about your spiritual life so 
in in the case of Navamsha, you have the ninth lord. You have the ninth house, you have the fifth house, fifth lord, and Jupiter. So these five areas, fifth house, fifth lord, ninth house, ninth lord, Jupiter. <clears throat> so they will tell you what is going on with your spiritual life. They will tell you what kind of sadhana you perform. Were you more like, you know, a karma yogi, jnana yogi, ashtang yogi, or a bhakti yogi. And within karma also were you sakam karma yogi or nishkam karma yogi. So, it, it, it will give you a lot of clues about your spiritual life, okay? So, very, very, very important. So, using that, you can know what kind of practices you should do in this life because that's continuing. So, for example, if uh, you have Venus in the Navamsha trines, you may like, you know, arts and all this, painting especially. So, you may try to paint about God. Or you may not be able to paint if Venus is bad in the D9. But you may, you know, do some uh, seva in case of, you know, in terms of the paintings. You know, like taking paintings from here, they are cleaning the paintings, you know, when you go to the temples, if you have the permission and the qualification. Or sponsoring for paintings. Okay, or the dress, dresses of the deities. Okay, flowers and all this. So anything Venusian that you can utilize in your spiritual life. Okay. So if Mercury, you can write, you know, Moon, you can do some uh, singing. Okay, you can sing bhajas. But again, they have to be associated with the fifth house in the D1. Only then it will come out. Otherwise, the same story. You, you will need to work on them. Number five, it will tell you your philosophical inclinations. You know, are you a right-winger or you are a left-winger or are you a centrist? Not just politically or economically, but... In general, in life, you know, what kind of what kind of a philosophy do you have? You know, what what was your thought process like in the previous lifetimes? Okay, so this is what the Ramamsha can tell you. So, if the natural malefics are present in prominent places, or with Sun, Moon, Mars, uh, so Sun, Moon, Lagna, Lord, then what can happen is you can be more left leaning, and if there are planets like sun, moon and especially Jupiter, then you might be more right leaning. Okay. And Mercury, Venus can make you materialistic and you are sometimes right, sometimes left, depending on what makes you more, whatever gives you more pleasure. All right. So yeah. Number six, it tells you your relationship with your gurus. Very, very, very important. So in case of the gurus, you must check the ninth house, ninth lord and Jupiter. So they will tell you how, what kind of a bond you had with your guru. Like for example, if the water signs are very prominent, no, like for example, your ninth lord is in you no know, Cancer or Scorpio or Pisces, <clears throat> then it is highly possible that you were into Bhakti Yoga in your previous lifetimes and you might have some attraction towards Bhakti Yoga in this lifetime also. It is possible, okay? So therefore, you need to understand that if the water signs are associated, then it can show Bhakti Yoga. If, you know, the art signs are associated, then it can show Karma Yoga. Okay. And if, yeah, so th that that's how you know. So here, it will never be that your Jupiter and Ninth Lord both are in, you know, water, water signs or art signs. Okay. Sorry for the technical glitch. I hope it's working now again. All right. So number six, as I said, it shows relationship with your guru and the signs like ninth planet in the ninth house. If it is a planet like uh, moon and moon or Venus, and if the ninth lord is in like you know Cancer, Scorpio, or uh, Pisces, for example, it can show bhakti yoga and it can show you are in an ashram where there was like you know sankirtan going on and all this. Okay. If Saturn is involved, it can show uh, that your relationship with your Guru is a bit secluded. Like, uh, you met your Guru, you used to meet your Guru very less, okay? Like, once a year or something like that. Okay, so that's how you will get to know. Of course, this have to be di discussed in detail, but today I am just giving you a summary, okay? Number seven, wealth and prosperity. Very, very, very important because the 
द नवांशा टेल्स यू योर भाग्य भाग्य इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स मीन्स योर फॉर्च्यून विच मीन्स यू द अमाउंट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू गेट विदाउट एंडी वरिंग मच सो देर फोर फॉर अ पर्सन टू हैव वेल्थ द डी वन हैज टू बी स्ट्रॉन्ग बट फॉर अ पर्सन टू हैव इनक्रेडिबली हाई मैसिव वेल्थ यू नो लाइक मिलियन एयर और बिलियन एयर द नवांशा हैज टू बी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सो इन द नवांशा सन सैटर्न मर्करी टेंथ हाउस टेंथ लॉर्ड दीज हैव टू बी स्ट्रॉन्ग ओके सो इफ दीज आर स्ट्रॉन्ग देन इट शोज यू हैव रियली वर्क ऑन योर प्रोफेशन नाउ वेर आई से प्रोफेशन आई डोंट मीन वन पर्टिकुलर प्रोफेशन बट यू हैव वर्क हार्ड टू बिकम अ मैन और अ वुमेन ऑफ एक्सीलेंस इन प्रोफेशन विच एवर प्रोफेशन इट इज ओके एंड इफ दीज प्लेट्स आर नॉट वेल प्लेस्ड और दिस दीज हाउसेज आर नॉट द बेस्ट देन yeah then it could be you are more like lazy and procrastinating all the time okay number 8 it will show you your sins okay mm -hmm. which areas did you commit sins <laughs> sinful activities they are also seen from the navamsha okay so the eighth house of the navamsha and wherever the eighth lord is that will show your primary sins so that will tell you which area did you commit sin the zodiac sign where the eighth lord is that will tell you what was the nature so if your eighth lord is in you know like sagittarius or pisces then it's probable that you committed some sin with your guru you know you cheated your guru or spread lies about him or something like that now taurus libra it can show something to do with women and if venus is also in the eighth then it can be more uh, further you um, know yeah it's like a more strong indicator of some mischief that you have done with some lady and if you are a lady then of course maybe with a man okay number 9 it will show you your dharma and life purpose so the trines will tell you what you are good at as i said you know your talents and your philosophical inclinations and it will also show you what you think is right wrong your morality you know like as i said right wing left wing centrist and when do you think rules should be broken and when do you think rules must be followed okay so it will tell you what you think is uh, a right decision and what you think is a wrong decision what you think is right in this situation and what you think is wrong in that particular situation okay so if there are sun mars planets like fire planets then you may be a bit more rigid relatively with your own ideals okay so it can show you are very true to your dharma this is something which you can also know from the navamsha and life purpose you know it can show your if there are fiery planets sun mars or even ketu at times it it can surely mean that you you are a committed person okay now of course it does not mean if somebody has you know sun mars ketu one of them in 159 the person is completely committed no it does not mean that but it certainly shows your potential for commitment is much higher could could be towards one partner you know your spouse or could be towards a spiritual path or towards your profession or your health whatever it is okay it's higher and last but not the least it shows your weaknesses okay so for weaknesses you also have to see the sixth house in the in your lagna chart the bhava chali chart sorry not lagna chart okay so go to the bhav chali chart and see your weaknesses but in the navamsha when you see weakness how do you see weaknesses weaknesses in the navamsha should not only be seen from the 6th it should also be seen from the 8th and also the 12th so planet in the 8th house of navamsha can strip you can separate you from that like for example venus in the 8th too many breakups okay it's so like you're going on sobbing crying and all this so that has become kind of your weakness you know what opposite sex tells about you and all this and which of planet is in the 12th you are like you you have a tendency to be more greedy related to that you know so for example if mercury is in 12th then yes you are greedy you could be more greedy for money okay so of course it will depend what is there in the other trines and you know for example if you have mercury in 12th and 
your sun mars jupiter they are in the trines then this can reduce the effect but it will show that you have a you have a weakness of heart when it comes to these planets which are in dusthanas <clears throat> so therefore the dusthanas of the ramamsha and at times the third house also will tell you a lot about your weaknesses okay and the trines will tell you about your inherent thoughts and you know the kendras will tell you about your strengths and uh, your power basically all right so that is how you study the navamsha so use it to learn more about your past life so that you can improve your current life and your future lifetimes all right thank you so much please take care jai sri ram